Hi, this is Mitch Mitchell of TT Mitchell Consulting. Yes, I am wearing an orange shirt. Luckily, I live in a city where the local college team is called the Orange, and we all wear orange. So there's nothing strange about wearing orange, at least from where I live, even if I've got a red background. And today I want to talk about, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to talk about as I get into the story. My wife comes home Friday. My wife and I both travel for work. But our work is a little different, even though we're both in healthcare and I do, you know, everything on leadership as well. Um, she usually goes and she's gone for 12 to 13 weeks at a clip, whereas I always make sure that I can pretty much come home whenever I want to when I'm on the road. You know, I can come home weekly, but if you're kind of far, that gets really tiring. So I will sometimes push that out to every, you know, second or third week. Uh, in the wintertime, sometimes it's a month. But right now I'm home for a while. Uh, catching up after my adventures in Memphis. And my wife is going to be both surprised and not surprised at the same time when she comes to the house because the house is clean. The kitchen is clean. The living room is clean. Dining room is clean. Bedroom is clean. The office is kind of clean. My office, because she has her own office. And everything is clean. Even vacuum the rugs. But it's messy. It's messy because when I came back from Memphis, I had tons of stuff. I basically sent home three gigantic boxes because I was out of town for 18 months. And my wife came home just for the weekend when I came home and then she left. And I've got tons of stuff that I have no idea what to do with. So I have stuff in the kitchen. I didn't know what to do with it. I have stuff in the bedroom. I have stuff on the dining room table. I have stuff in the office. I just have stuff and stuff and stuff that I didn't know where to put it. And I could have just shoved it into certain places or whatever, but the thing is, I want to be able to find it. And that happens to be one of those few things that I'm not really good at, is you know when I have too much stuff, trying to figure out what to get rid of and what to keep is a little difficult. So she's coming home and she's going to be home for a couple of weeks. And I already told her I need some assistance on some things um, because I probably have there's no problem about it. I have places in the house, in the master bedroom, in the bathroom, in my office, where I have just a bunch of stuff and I probably should get rid of it, but I'm not really sure. And she's one of those people who's really good at that kind of thing. And, you know, like I said, it's clean, but it's messy, but it's somewhat orderly. I mean, here in the office, for instance, even though I can say it's clean, but it's messy. I've got piles of stuff, and I have my business stuff, and I have my bills, and I have other things. So I know where everything is for the most part. Uh, you know, it's not perfect. But then I, I started to think about this, and I started to say, you know what? Life is messy. Doesn't mean that it can't be a good life. Doesn't mean that it can't be a clean life, but it is messy. We accumulate things. It's not just, you know, always physical things. Sometimes it's mental. We, we accumulate mental trash sometimes or mental good times. And we have all this stuff in our minds. And sometimes, depending on the situation and depending on the type of stuff that's in our mind, it's hard to get rid of. And it's hard to compartmentalize into something that we can use or something we can get rid of. And you know, I, I thought about this because there's a lot of people at this time of year, and I used to be one of them, who get depressed. I mean, it's Christmas holiday. It's a season where, you know, people think that they should be uplifted. You know, you have uh, Yom Kippur and uh, Hanukkah. Actually, this is this Hanukkah. Yom Kippur is earlier, so I scratched that. <laughs> but, you know, Hanukkah. There's um, um, Day of the Dead, which is the day after Christmas. Um, I think there's Boxing Day in Canada. I mean, whatever. You have these holidays that come up, and sometimes people aren't feeling the holiday. My mother always got depressed during every single holiday. She always got sick as well, which was really strange growing up. Now I'll be going to see mom, and mom would be fine. And, you know, there's these different pressures that people feel and people associate with certain holidays. And it's not just holidays, it's, it's things in general. It's because life is messy. And we don't know how to get rid of some of this stuff or how to block it. And I'm obviously no different. I mean, I'm looking around my room and saying, well, okay, you know, at least I know it's clean, <laughs> even if it is messy. And I look at, you know, my life. I mean, here I am right now. I'm on downtime. But come January, I have to start marketing again. I have to get right back into it. You know, I've got to survive. I've got to make a living. 
But, you know, trying to put all this stuff together in my mind where I had this conflict between getting back to work and you need time to rest for yourself, it's a messy process. And I'm here to tell you first, you're not alone. We all go through the same thing. But second, you know, every once in a while, we don't have to fight these things. We can let these things kind of live with each other. I tend to believe that the accumulation of good and bad things that happen in our lives kind of make us what we are now. Now, if you're a jerk, <laughs> then you need to find a way to deal with it. But if you're in kind of a good place, I mean, I'm in a really good place and life isn't really all that bad, you can always improve. Or you can use certain things to figure out, um, you know, how do you want to progress and how do you want to move forward? For instance, even though I'm kind of messy in my mind right now, I actually did put together a full presentation that I was supposed to give last Wednesday. But, you know what, I live in central New York. We had a snowstorm. I had to cancel. Uh, so I'm doing it in January. But still, I put together this presentation and, you know, the outline came through and everything worked well. And I put it in a PowerPoint and I'm horrible at PowerPoint. But you know what? I was able to take some of this messy because when I first put to, put an outline together, I just throw concepts. Everything is all over the place, but I'm putting it all there. And then I go back and I order things and put it in the way that I want to present it or the way I need to, you know, to put a report together or, you know, how I write things. And it shows that you can overcome messy when you need to, but messy is not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, you know, look look at my friends back here. You think they got Snoopy and Snoopy in an order? And I've got my relax sign here. You know, it's just, you know, it's just kind of there. It's not in any real kind of order or anything. So it's messy, but it's comfortable. And it makes me feel kind of good here and there. You know, every once in a while I feel cluttered. I've got uh, four boxes of syringes over here. I'm diabetic and I give myself two shots a day. And I've got four boxes of syringes. So I've got to figure out where am I going to put those things? Because I don't need them sitting on top of my computer. But those are minor issues. So think about this. If you've got messiness in your life and it's conflicting with things that you want orderly, what can you figure out to maybe put some of the messiness away? Or what can you figure out that helps you put order before messy and let them coexist? Let me know. And this is Mitch Mitchell of T.T. Mitchell Consulting Incorporated. I hope you have a wonderful day.